Hold on to your butts. Right there to our immediate left, we have uh, all the folks gathering for the uh, annual Saxon concert. You've got people who really are into the occult and into Satan. They're propagating Satan, and I think it's a devastating thing. Cows me down. What's your favorite total metal because? Zuckerberg and Gates and Buffett, amateurs can fucking suck it, fuck their wives, drink their blood. Come on, Jeff, get up! Who's winning a wrestling match, Lemmy or God? Lemmy. Ah, God. Wrong, dickhead. Trick question. Lemmy is God. It's such a fine line between stupid and, and clever. And we're gonna be at the Wilson Beer tonight with Slayer. You're gonna be there too, right? Oh! Ah. All right, well, what do you want to start with, Gojira, Mastodon, or Maiden? Are we going in Maiden. order? I think Maiden, yeah. Yeah, Maiden. Okay. This one. It's the it's the least of the three. Yeah. Uh, the Sunjutsu. And I've seen pictures for the tour, and it's Trooper Eddie fighting Sinjutsu. Oh, nice. <laughs> really? So, are there two? I don't know. It's confusing. I didn't know there were more than one Eddies. The back of really? it. Oh, this guy. Yeah, He's got so go. many teeth. Lots of teeth. Yeah, the vinyl is really awesome. Yeah. The gatefold is really cool. It's a really cool gatefold, actually. It spans across the whole thing. I can't. It's This gatefold is so large, I can't hold it up because it's <laughs> not enough room. <laughs> you got to zoom out. I'd have to stand back behind the chair and then, like. We'll just do it across. People can look it up. It's not like you have to show it. Yeah, I know. Well, yeah, this, I mean, um, it's a good album. I don't. Uh, <laughs> It's tough, right? <laughs> yeah, because I don't think it's better than Book of Souls. I thought at first maybe it was on par, but I don't think it's better than... Now that I've heard it a few times, I think Book of Souls does is a little bit better. Yeah, um, I, th- I was going to say, I think that I think it's maybe more consistent than Book of Souls. Yeah. There's, because there's no songs in this. Well, there's, you could say that. Yeah, there's no... It's a, the, if you said this is one song from start to finish on the album... <laughs> yeah. That's true. Ve- it's very the tempos don't really change. Yeah. The riffs don't change a whole lot. Yeah, yeah. Not not necessarily a bad thing, but there is a uh, a languid pace to the whole album. Yeah, they just there's yeah. no speed of light and there's no tears from a clown. Like those were two songs on the last album that were like, eh. I like tears from a clown. Oh, sp- it speed was, of light, I liked. I'm, I'm the one of the three of us that likes that one. I, I don't like speed of light. Tears of Clown was. I, I thought Tears of Clown was good. It was. <laughs> what was the one that was a climb like a monkey? That was. Oh one yeah, was speed of light, yeah, wasn't it? it? No, no, there was no, no. There was another one. I don't remember the name of it. They played it. They played it live too. too. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. I know that, that's what was I annoying. Thought, I was like, oh, why are they playing this song? I hate this. Song. I love that song. I think that the. I think it sounds different than anything else on the album. Maybe that's why you don't like it. I don't know. That yeah, it was kind of like you like it or you don't. And well, he's talking about a plane climbing like a monkey. Like, so I thought it was kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> Monkeys are good at climbing. <clears throat> Didn't he wear like a monkey hat or something when they sang yeah. that song? Yeah, he did. He wore like a monkey thing. Yeah. Was, and he was <laughs> going that? like... Okay, that was weird. <laughs> Climb like a monkey. <laughs> what are you doing? What's going on? And Yana Gurr's just spinning around and he's climbing like a monkey. And... I got to figure out the name of that song now. And I was trying to... I had the album right I here, kind of I... like it. Yeah. <sighs> Nah, shut up. I feel like it's oh, death, or, death or Glory. Death or Glory. Death or yeah, Glory. That's, that's it. Yeah. Oh, oh, glory. It's boring. Yeah, it's it bottom. I don't like it. <clears throat> no, I don't think it's boring at all. Bottom. I think it changes, changes the pace of the album a lot. It would sort of been we're fine, but it's bottom. No, we're not talking about that album. No, but. This yeah, album, so. Senjutsu, the, there's like a, a middle section where it's like, I feel like from Lost in a Lost World to Time Machine, those three are like, yeah. Kind of just boring. Um, Bottom? Holy crap. Did you see the awards this thing's won? No. Which one? Accolades? Oh, my God. Senjutsu. It's on the Wikipedia page. Oh, my Lord. The the rankings, like, of all these uh, magazines, I guess. Yeah. The new websites. It's astounding how much this album is loved. I feel like press and media feel obligated to give bands like this high ratings just because of their legacy you know what i mean like yeah it's made so they has to be has to be good they didn't do that in the album before this no they didn't no well the album before this is better no, this, well, this maybe one... they, well there's probably a delay like they got to catch up yeah because everyone liked that one so they're like oh we got to make sure we are on you know ahead of the the trend with the new one 
I, I, saw, I do. I, I do like this album a lot. I, I no, I, I like do it, too. Yeah, I like it a lot. Actually, um, one of the I can't. I don't know the, who it was, but on Instagram, the, I follow a lot of those uh, people that have collect records. Yeah. And this one woman was she, she had the the first album and and then Sinjutsu next mm-hmm. to each other. And she's like, you know, I like both of these albums. You know, discuss underneath which one you like better. I think the this new one's better. And I'm like, oh my god, are you fucking crazy? Like, I didn't <laughs> I didn't respond. But you the mean first the, album? Come oh, on, the fr- oh, right, Maiden, yeah, <laughs> I'm right, not yeah, right. yeah. Like, is that even a, a Man, that's is that a, really even a, t- a question. Man, that's like, a that's a that's weird like, comparison too. Like, it is. Holy those shit. Are two well, really it was just because it was the first, and then it was the oldest and the newest. It was what was the yeah. point of it? But I'm just like, is that even close? Really? Is that a is that a discussion point for anybody? <laughs> so different, anyway. Is, does this is yeah, maybe if someone really hates Paul Diano and they just don't yeah like yeah okay like Diano Paul Diano, era yeah. maiden at all? I guess yeah. Or you really love y- Yana Gers. <laughs> You can't tell which songs are the Yannick Gers songs, can't you? He has certain. Well, like, you've you've kind of helped me figure that out a little, but I don't I don't know. I still don't I think, think I know. I feel like anytime there's a, a guitar line that's following the vocal melody, Yannick Gers is playing that. You can. But that, 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 that's just. I think on. Shit, it's one of the last three songs that it happens to, and those are all Harris songs. Oh, okay. I think it was. It might have been time. I think it might be Hell on Earth where he does it. Oh, Hell on Earth is the best song on the album. Mm, really? Oh yeah. I think the parchment is yeah. the best song. Well, those that, it ends on a really high note. Those those two are the best. Well, well the songs. last three are really fucking good. Yeah, the yeah, all the best. Yeah. yeah, all Harris songs. <laughs> um, so, hey, really where's the, which one? D- um, oh, Darkest Hour. No, yeah, Darkest Hour. Like when I was listening to it again, I and I I, I wasn't like seeing who wrote the songs when I was listening. It was just kind of just trying to take it in like I used to, mm-hmm. you know, playing Nintendo and listening to music. But, um, well, I wasn't playing Nintendo this time, but, um, <laughs> the, uh, the riff on Darkest Hour is obviously, like, I don't know what, how I knew. I was like, I feel like this is Adrian Smith. Because mm-hmm. it, it's, it's, I don't know if you can, I thought maybe play Eric it. would be able to. No, yeah, I'll play it. Play I, it. I don't know if we want to go blind, like track by track or, or what, but. Oh, no, no. I'm not worried about going track by track. We don't have time for that. <laughs> we got three long albums to talk about. You talking about this? Oh thing? shit! I'm talking about the wrong song. Sorry. Oh, Days of Future Past is what I meant. Oh, Sorry. okay. Oh, it's a good song. Is there a bad song on the album? No. That's the thing. I don't think so. There's not, right? Time no. Machine. Yeah. No. Time Machine's lyrics suck. Yeah, there's Holy moments. Shit. <laughs> the, yeah, there's moments of that song I'm like, yeah, really? Yeah. If that's but probably the, the music worst song I, I like the music a lot. Too. Yeah, there's some really good parts of that song. I just don't add a, as a whole, I don't think the song is that great. And it's too long. Oh, it's too long. The whole album is too long. Well, yeah, that's another thing. Like we we're saying Ghost is very economical. Yeah. They're, yeah. They're efficient with their riffs. Yes. This is the opposite. <laughs> yeah, there's riffs they play too many times. Yeah. yeah Literally. Like, okay, you gotta cut that in half. Could have cut yeah. that in a quarter. Yes. And you don't have to start every song slow and then end it the same yeah. way you started it. They they've yeah. done that pattern for so long where it's like the song's gonna start really slow. Yeah. And there's gonna be a big jump. Up. Yeah. And you know what I mean? And then <laughs> yeah. it ends with the same yeah. riff. It's very, very formulatic. You don't formulaic, have to do that. formulaic. You don't you have to end the song the same way you started it every single yeah. time. Yeah. And uh, you don't have to match, like you already said, you do not have to play a, a guitar part with the vocals. Yeah. I, <laughs> I almost feel like that's like Yannick's like, I need something to do here. All right, let me just yeah, play like, what he's doing on the You could not song. play right. all the time. <laughs> it's yeah. true. Or you can maybe find some cool harmonics to accentuate things, but I don't know. Yeah. You don't have to. That's that's cheating. That's like, right? That's basic Bruce, gas Bruce guitar wrote shit. This. Bruce wrote this riff for me. It reminds <laughs> me of, me. And, and it reminds me of um, "Smells Like Teen Spirit," where the solo is just the vocal. Line. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't get but that was, 
But he's a sucky guitar player, so <laughs> right. you don't even have an excuse in Iron Maiden. <laughs> yeah, that was different. That was sort of intentional, and I mean, you know. Well, yeah, like there was, was that. It was but, kind of strip anyway. But you shouldn't. I shouldn't be comparing Nirvana. No, <laughs> no. Iron Maiden. Let's talk about them last episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did. Um, what about the Without production you, on this? Well, people have been. People have been. Yeah, you weren't on that episode. People were pissed off about the production on this album. Why? They Ooh, don't. They don't what? like it. They don't like What's it. What's wrong with it? The internet's. They don't like it. How is it? How is it different than the last like six I, albums? I don't know where they're listening to this. Like, are they playing it on like? Yeah, I don't, it doesn't sound or, that different to me. Like, no, it's. I thought it was fine. It's not like it doesn't blow me away, but it's it sounds like Iron Maiden's production that they usually have. Yeah. Well, they, I think didn't they get it? no the same producer from the last? It's Kevin album? Shirley, right? I think so. Yeah, I have, I have it right here. I'm gonna hold this right here. I don't have the Wikipedia in front of me, so. Oh, I do. Let me do it. Yeah, that's true. We just look it up. Or you have the album in front of you. I do have the album right here. It's Kevin Shirley. Yeah, it's Kevin Shirley. Kevin Shirley. Whoever the fuck that is. Did he do Book of Souls? Well, let's find out. I believe he did. Yeah, I think I think he's done the last two or three. I'm not sure. These the la- since um really since um Bruce came and then Adrian came back. A Brave New World. Yeah. yeah, Brave New I can think of that. Yes, that one, which I <laughs> love. But I think the production has been pretty consistently that since. Yeah, which yeah, I, I think so. Which I don't think was a whole lot different. I think like Chris mentioned how he doesn't like the sound of the drums now compared to yeah, the older days. Yeah, he did mention that. I like them better because I can actually hear what the drums are doing you know, a lot easier. Yeah, it's very clear. Because the bass drum was really low in the mix for a long time with them, yeah. I, I feel like. Oh, yeah. So that... The, the drums have a lot more punch, which I like. So I think the production's uh, since, yeah, since um, Brave New World. Yeah, it's, it didn't, it didn't, didn't bother it's, me This is the band that you've never really had to worry about production on. Yeah. Like they've always, yeah. even what was the, probably the worst was maybe the first album didn't sound great. But for the time, I know it sounded great. But if you oh, look no, back, I, like the first album, it's, I it's think a little raw. And no then, prayer for the dying. No prayer for the dying. No prayor for the dying was the other one I was going to say. Where they, yeah. they kind of tried to do it themselves. Yeah, it's like this garage thing. They were very good at it. Yeah. But even that, it's not like you can't hear what you no. want to hear. It's, no, it's, it's better. It's, it's better than <laughs> Justice for All. <laughs> a lot of it things sounds like a band that. playing together. Yeah. Well, I want to play some highlights from this album because... Yeah. Um, it, starts, it starts off great. Yes. Yeah, so I think... Uh, and I've told Eric, I think Stratego. Is that how you're supposed to say it? Yes, yeah, Stratego. I always pronounce yeah. the board game. Stratego, I think that should have been the opener. I think they should have flipped the first two. Hmm. I don't think it makes a big difference. Yeah. Yeah, that could have, that could have worked. Play a little bit of the Sinjutsu, the title track. That guitar. Yep. <laughs> Couldn't he even play a harmony? Like... Right. Yeah, he could have. What the drums here? This is probably the heaviest on the album, right? Yeah. Maybe Hell on Earth is. Yeah, there's a part in Hell on Earth that's just awesome. Yeah. And it's heavy. And I don't ever associate them with being heavy. No, but they've got their own level of heaviness. Yeah. It's going to be an E minor every song. <laughs> yep. Here's the riff that Eric wrote. What? <laughs> Negative. <laughs> right here. <laughs> I never noticed that. That's funny. Yeah. Uh, that song was in D minor. Well, <laughs> it, it, was, it was heavier. Yeah. yeah. That's funny. Oh, I didn't catch that. Well, now you know. No, I know. What is a sinjutsu anyway? I have no idea. No. It looks like a samurai to me. I would, yeah. I would guess it's something to do with that. Is this like a. Let's figure this out. I know Kung Fu. While we're here. Well, while you look that up, I'm going to play... Sinjutsu means loosely translated tactics and strategy. Correct. Oh, yeah. I did read that. Yeah. Unlike Stratego, the board game, which was just pure guessing. 
<laughs> oh no, there was strategy with that. There was. Oh, yeah? yeah. Once you got your miners. Once, yeah. Once you got your scouts all killed, it was like, all right. Now I know where his bombs are. <laughs> okay. I used to I used to play that game with Ethan. Ethan told me the other day he's like, I hated playing that game with you. Oh. <laughs> he's like, you kicked my, to, like, kick my ass school. every time. <laughs> I'm like, well, yeah, because I played it when I was younger. Uh, yeah. Should have been. That's it. That's it. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, I do remember loving playing that game. Oh that yeah, game. oh yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. It was like if Battleship was actually fun, right? Yeah, Stratego. It yeah. was like chess for dummies. Yeah, <laughs> but I don't know. I think it, I think you're underselling it. Maybe. Like, I can't still, play chess, I still, but I, I can play still make it. They make like yeah, um, I think they do. Yeah, because I think the one I played with Ethan was Transformer Stratego. Oh so nice. Like, there's different uh, iterations, different you know. Like yeah, Star why not? Wars sure. stuff like that. Might as well. So, yeah. You should. Um, I'm going to play a little bit of Writing on the Wall because there's a guitar solo in that that's probably my favorite solo on the entire album. It's an Adrian Smith solo. Mm. Not too surprising. No. Um, but this song, it, it was well, like... Should we talk about the song first? Yeah, sure. I think we should. Yeah, sure. It's not Iron Maiden at all, right? No. It's like... This was, yeah, this was kind of a... a caught, caught me off guard. Like, this is like mm-hmm. classic rock. Because <laughs> it came yes. out before the album. Yeah. It was one yeah, of the two singles. Single, yeah. And that main like riff is like... Skinner, man. Like some Skinner. Blues or Cult or something. Yeah. I, I feel like there's an Eagles vibe. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, for it's sure. It's like kind of country western. Yeah, yeah. Not, country. not not genre music, but, but like, like western, I guess. Mm-hmm. Right. Term. Yeah. And the video was totally... Uh, yeah, uh, heavy metal. Oh yeah, 1980, whatever it was. Modernized. Yeah. That is Skinner, man. <laughs> it's also Maiden right there. Yeah. yeah. That's Maiden. Yeah. So we started this off saying it's not Maiden right away. Yep. <laughs> right there though, that riff is not. Mm-mm. That is, yeah, that's like, I don't know. Maybe Tom Petty a little bit. Yeah, it's <laughs> very, very 94-7 classic rock. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what I liked about it. Like, I like yeah. the bands do different things, you know? Yeah. I was, the and part of me was hoping the album was going to be more oh. like this, yeah. but it wasn't. Yeah. It was Iron Maiden. This is actually one of my favorite songs of the album, though. Yeah. Like, uh, overall, I... After a while, I was like, yeah, this, I actually really do this song. And the solo, let me play this part, because, God, this is so good. Right here, I believe. Ish. talked about David Gilmore earlier. That's a little David Gilmore solo. It is, yeah. A lot of like and yeah. yeah. Um, so one good. thing that did stand out for me of this album was the solos, and I, I'm mm-hmm. not a big like. So I, I don't gravitate to solos quickly. It takes like about a hundred lessons before I start knowing some guitar solos. But yeah, this one I'm like, and and like the parchment even. Like I, I feel yeah. like there's kind of an extended guitar solo for these guys. Yeah, and I, and I I really enjoy it. Maybe mm-hmm. that's why it's my favorite song. <laughs> yeah. it could, well, sure. It's it's a very good guitar yeah. song. Yeah. But the, I, even throughout the album, though, I, I felt like their solos, they put a little more effort than... I shouldn't say that. I don't know how much effort they put in. But it felt like the <laughs> solos stuck out, you know, yeah, yeah. a lot more than, than usual. Even though they have some... They have two. <laughs> they have Three. Two of, they have two of the most underrated, like, guitar <laughs> riff guys and soloists, I think, in... in metal i don't know why they don't get more love for their solos it's i i guess the uh i don't know there's a lot of personalities in this band it's probably hard to uh yeah stand out adrian smith though he's definitely i feel like he's underrated people don't know yeah well i think um uh dave murray's solos are like i think he's fucking ridiculous yeah like how yeah the stuff he does 
Yeah. And that stupid face he makes when he. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like, like Dave Murray like is more the like the more flashy guy, but <clears throat> Adrian Smith has more kind of the soul and like that solo I just played is is total like. Uh, that's what I like about solos is when they have a lot of soul and like just it's not flashy, but it really captures. You know, it fits perfectly with the song. You know what I mean? What about He's Yannick? Like, <laughs> He's flat out admitted he makes up his solos every time he plays. Yeah, <laughs> does he really? I think he yeah. does because they're so sloppy. No, he's, admit, just... he's admitted in 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 interviews. Oh, oh my like, god! It's like, yeah, I just play That's what insane. I feel like. Which is kind of impressive. He stays. He stays I guess. Well. I guess. But... <laughs> At the same time, he's got to do pirouettes too. <laughs> yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> He's a busy guy. <laughs> so make sure, yeah. He's got he's, things he's to do. He's working too hard on, on making sure he has his dance moves down. Yeah. <sighs> he can't be memorizing solos. I, what? I wonder how often they, they, they've told the sound guy, like, hey, if he gets too crazy, just leave him in his own monitor and <laughs> shut that. Like, just turn him off for everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's, let's play a little. He's, doing, um, he's like doing this stuff. I know. This stupid shit. I know. I know. He can't putting, really... his, putting his foot up on the amp and. <sighs> Yeah. We've talked about that guy like so many times, but still like <laughs> God the damn, youngest guy dude. in the band. He looks like he's ninety though. <laughs> an old grandma. Yeah, he's an old grandma. And he's taking his legs up and stuff. Like just stop. Just go on the side and like actually go backstage. <laughs> I think you should terrible. leave, John. I think you should leave. Wrong. <laughs> well, let me play the parchment since we've been talking about that song. A little yeah. bit of that. Can you play song. all of it? No. It's 12 minutes long. <laughs> Fast forward a little bit. Closer to 13 minutes long. Uh, that's, that part's Actually, so Actually, you know what? I'm going to play a little bit at the beginning, because the beginning does remind me of Woodpecker from Mars a little bit. Oh, yeah. That's, that's awesome. Just the, right it's there. the keyboard. Huh. Not the, like it. I guess that's an acoustic bass. Yeah. It sounds like, yeah. Because in my car, it sounds like all you can hear is the high note. <laughs> so I'm in that old car. <clears throat> now I'll go back to the pool. Maiden right there. Ah, <laughs> uh, that part's so That's good a too. Good song. That's a good part. What's? It's just the vocal line. <laughs> you played a guitar again. Yeah, it's not together this time. <laughs> They married them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this has... Yeah, actually, I want to play this part because the vocal part here is awesome when he just oh, yeah. goes up. holds that note out. It's so good. Uh, it's so good. I love what he does with the symbols right there. Yeah. Can you, can you, well, I mean, he's, he might repeat it here again. But. Yeah. He just throws that in on the second, like, part of that riff. Yeah. The second bar of it. What 
were your uh, where was your focus on that? Because I got locked into the drums there. <laughs> well, I, honestly, I've got the lyrics up in front of me, so I'm like following the lyrics. Right now. <laughs> I don't know if I've actually well, read along the lyrics before. So, like, oh. they, he does a different fill up in each, each one of those. Okay. I give him credit for because I feel like he gets too much into a. His, his groove he days. does yeah but he's like 70 right I think so yeah he's not so he's not he's 69 yeah. <laughs> I mean he's there you go let's see he'll be yeah 70 this year hopefully <laughs> if not that show's fucked yeah yeah pretty much Play a lot more than that. Than I wanted so to. good. That's <laughs> all right. Yeah, I wanted to, play, to get that vocal part in there, though. It's so good. Uh, and then Hell on Earth is the closer. Um, play a little so bit of that, too, I guess. Was it? What was the part you were talking about? It was like a super heavy part. Do you know? Uh, uh, right, about about? right about 740. Right about 740. Yeah. His, his vocals there are so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, the way he says anger. Yeah, yes. anger. Yeah. Specifically, yes. extra angry. I'm going to fast forward to the... They got the chorus in, but I don't know if yeah, yeah, the chorus is really good. It's a vocal melody, yeah, (laughs) shocking. (laughs) And the Iron Maiden gallop. Galloping triplet field bass. Yeah. Terrace all the way. Yeah. I can guess the notes. E. Wait. It's going to be E. C. E. E. It's basically a trooper. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> all right well yeah. we got other bands to talk about so yes we got other stuff to talk about so all right that yeah, sounds great it. i'm just listening to it like focusing on production it sounds awesome yeah I, of course it does. Yeah. I wonder what this nonsense is. Yeah. It sounds. I does it sound any different than the album before it? I don't think I, so. As far as production goes, I don't think so. I don't think so either. People are crazy. Nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, All I wanted right. to also say Stratego reminds me of the evil that men do with the way it starts. Oh, you know, uh, it's like well, we didn't talk about the the keyboards are a little bit weird on this album. Yeah, they've got this like it's a, the, the, the it's very piercing. Yeah, the pitch weird is like sound. Yeah, it's not like your typical synthesizers you're used to with Maiden. It's more, like you said, more piercing, more like high icy pitched. sounding. Like yeah, yeah. I think I got used to it. Yeah, well, Stratego. Not... It took me a little bit with Stratego. I was like, ooh, what is that? But I, I got used to it. But I don't know. it didn't bother me. It was just it's different than what you're used to in a Maiden or a, a, like a metal album. Yeah. Yeah, just play the yeah. Just the very it starts right off with like it's the evil that men do. Like, this is the... Oh, the the drum thing, the drum thing, and the just yeah, mostly the I guess it's the drums mostly. Yeah, well, no, it's can I play with madness, isn't it? Do do 
Well, let's compare. We have the power. <laughs> yes. Is it Evil Cat Man Do? I think it's Evil Cat Man Do because it's the song where he's talking about slept in the dust with his daughter, the eyes, my eyes red with the slaughter of innocence, that whole thing. Yeah. That's the, the devil's that's, daughter. And it goes. Ah. Uh. So Iron Maiden does something they did before. <laughs> Oh, okay. But I think that drum thing is the other song. Can I play with madness? Maybe. But just the way it's the tempo is the same, the drum beat's the same. Yeah, if you play Stratego again, just the opening. It's it is very similar drums. You can sing along. You can play you sing along to <laughs> <laughs> I bet you there are more songs that sound like these. <laughs> what are you what, Iron Maiden ripped themselves off? I think no. that's like, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Even uh, Kiss is like, God, you guys rip yourselves off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've said that before. Nobody rips off Iron Maiden more than Iron Maiden. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad we don't have to grade these. No, we're not. Oh, yeah, so I give it an pressure. A. <laughs> so much pressure off. <clears throat> All right, are we doing Gojira now? Sure. Either one. I, I mean, I think you're outnumbered, Joe. We should do Mastodon. It doesn't. <laughs> I mean, I'm outnumbered. Oh, what? Which one do I like better? Yeah, well, Eric and I is think Gojira is better. Are we going... Is that what this was? Was a backwards three, countdown? Three, two, one, yeah. <laughs> I don't care. Now you know. I don't care. It, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I've got Gojira up, so I'm going to right. talk about that one now. Go for it. Uh yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> it's my favorite album of twenty twenty one. Yes. Um This is the they this is a band that just keeps getting better. I mean, honestly. Yeah. I I didn't think they'd be able to top Magma and they did. Magma. So. They did. I got this version with mm-hmm. the blue swirly thing. This one. Ooh, this, this pretty beats the yeah. shit out of all their other stuff. Magma. Oh yeah. This is their best album by far. This yes. is there's not a bad song on the album. They're all no. Great. Well, let me ask you, since we're going to talk about that album anyway, um, these are the best two albums of the year, right? Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Then fuck it. Which one is first? <laughs> They're definitely the best two. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's what, Okay. Good. We're all on the mm-hmm. same page there. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's even close. No. I don't either. Hmm. It's I don't even, I mean, cut. Even after well, Maiden, this... I don't know what would be fourth. I don't even know. Mm. I don't know. This... Uh, like almost as soon as it, I should say, well, yeah, as soon as it came out, I was like, "This is, this is like a special album." Oh yeah. yeah, it's one of those only comes out every five years type of I good. Th- album. Didn't they have the single? They had three singles out before it came out, though. Mm-hmm. And I felt like I, it I think took another, forever another. before the album came out. Am I am I just exactly? No, right no, it took a, it took a while. Okay, and I think they even said when we saw them, Joe, they were like, "We've been wanting to see you guys forever. We wanted to get this album out sooner." So I think that. COVID kind of fucked things up for them a little bit. Yeah. In that sense. Yeah. Um, yeah, because Another World came out like a year before the album came out, I feel like. Yeah, it was like yeah. way before. It yeah. was. Yeah. Nine months at least, right? Yeah. Well, I, I guess it's I feel like it was week. like summer of 2020, maybe. I'm sure if you look on YouTube and like if they have a, an official YouTube page, you could see when they're, when that when that originally came out. But it, yeah. yeah, it had to have been like summer or something. When did the album come out? April, I think. It was pretty early in Shit, 2021. Yeah. I thought I had the, the thing pulled up. I'll look it up. But yeah, Another World, and then they released... Uh... Yeah, 30th of April. There you go. Okay. Yeah, so I would yes. say like 20, like probably summer 2020 is when, maybe fall 2020 is when Another World, Another World came out. Yeah, with that really cool video. Yeah. A video. Another <laughs> cartoon video, too. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And kind of in the same vein a little bit as Writing on the Wall, like... Kind of, yeah. Yeah, the, 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 the um, what's the movie? I keep forgetting. Them. Heavy metal. Heavy metal, yeah. How do yes. I forget that name? Right? <laughs> August twentieth. So what it says? August. Tw- yeah, so about August fifth. Um, Sorry, August fifth, twenty twenty. Right. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, it's that's crazy funny. that I remember these dates. I'm terrible at that shit. <laughs> <laughs> but I was real, like, I was, because um, it was it was when 2019 we saw them, right? With uh, yeah, Slipknot. yeah, September 2019, yeah, 
Yeah, and that's when I – like I, I had been getting into them a lot, kind of prepping for that gig. But when I saw it, I was like, oh, my fucking God. Because we <laughs> yeah. were walking – we got there a little late and they were playing as we got in. And I was like, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, they just sound <laughs> oh. perfect. I know. Yeah. And that, and then when we saw them in October, mm-hmm. I don't know how he does half the shit that he does on guitar. Like those riffs that he pulls off, I don't know. That's one thing I haven't taken the time to learn how he does it. He's it's got like, a French he's, guitar. He's, <laughs> he's <laughs> weird on French. Like, pick scrape slash harmonic things that I'm like, what the fuck? It's so good. Like yeah. the end of uh, actually how Grind starts. I'll play that. Mm-hmm. That thing. What the fuck? That's like, that's like a good uh, pick scrape. Yeah. God. Oh. So good. <laughs> It's hard to focus on the guitar with his drums. I know. I love it. Boy, I bet. Oh. But there's like this other <laughs> stuff going on with the guitar and the bass that is really cool. Yeah. Listen to that ride. What the fuck? Isn't it just a... Is it just doing a ride? Like a, a roll? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Oh. Isn't he? Like, it's easy. Right? <laughs> he's like, just nah. doing that. It's fine. He's not, he's not moving these hands over to the right. No, 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 no. Well, that's what it sing- sounds like. No, he's I think he's just playing a really fast single note like, roll. Sh- yeah. Good Lord. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, he's got a French ride, though. So <laughs> He does. <laughs> he's from France. Still hard, but different. <laughs> so, yeah, that song is one of my favorites. And then um, I got to play the end of Born for One Thing. Like, mm-hmm. the way that... There we go. Oh, yeah. Wah in that scrape? I don't know. Some effect. Yeah. Fake wah. Might be like a flander thing going on or something. Oh, God. So good. Bands got away from that, I feel like. They got away from the heavy ending thing. You know, the the Pantera heavy ending thing. I think with these two albums, it's okay if we at least kind of sort of go with Lawn friend in the tracks. Oh. The tracks. <laughs> Where is it? Whoa, the tracks. <laughs> so that was the opener. Yeah. Born for one thing. And it, yeah. and you're about to start Amazonia, or maybe you... it just yeah it started. Just I tried to pause it, but my Spotify. Is... How how you guys you must have thought of Sepultura. Rata Mahata. The song. Oh yeah, absolutely. Right? Yeah. Rata and Andy Wallace is the producer. Yeah. Yeah. The best Sepultura producer. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. And then the little work flare thing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Woo. Woo. <laughs> or he has Tarats one or two. Yeah. It's fitting we saw this in North Carolina. Work flare made himself famous. Should get to some of the vocals. We haven't really focused on that yet. And I like that um, a band is blatantly socially uh, or political in a, in a metal song. I feel like it's yeah. been a long time since it's just like, it's like, fuck it. We're burning the Amazon down. We're going to kill the planet. And I think, I bet it's because he's French. He doesn't give a fuck. But <laughs> <laughs> it's on the outside. He's doing that straight again, right? Yeah, it's so weird. That bend. Yeah. 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 The, the it's, drums here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah, I think one of the reasons I like this band so much is 
This is like the stuff that I would love to be doing on guitar if I was running music right now. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like there's exactly. This is everything he does. Like even just that little thing where he's like goes up to the neck, that kind of thing. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. This album just it feels like a throwback to when we were in high school. Yeah. Like, it feels like a refreshed version of what we liked. Yeah. I think that's it totally what resonates does. so well with this album. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. This this kind of come out in '92. This, yeah. is, this is a band that doesn't. They they don't have like. Uh, preconceptions of what like a metal band nowadays needs to be. No, not like, at Fuck all. It, this is what we're awesome. playing right now. Yeah, I, I, I really, I, I think being not from America is one of the best assets they have. That, yeah, I think it that, certainly. They miss a lot of that bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because a lot of bands, they're like, they'll have a singer that's has a good metal voice. Mm-hmm. Of, I should say a vocalist who has a good metal voice, and they're like, well. We got to put some death metal stuff in here, otherwise, right, I know. It's, you know, it, it's you know, we got to have it. And then all of a sudden, he goes <laughs> like, "What the fuck has happened? It was good." And then, yeah, you, yeah. so many bands do that now. Like, and you know. these, uh, the album length in total is just over fifty minutes. Right. It's not. Yeah. It's not like they're self indulgent just for the sake of you know, no. playing like Iron Maidens. Yeah. Stuff we just talked about. They're yeah. just like. They they play everything about the right amount that you want to hear and yeah yeah just a good flow and yeah, yeah. so another world that was next mm-hmm. the, the yep. uh, released nine months or yeah whatever that was the I first yeah. single. I know you, I know Joe you said the bass is not difficult but I think the bass so, sound is really good on this album. Well. Okay. Let me let me just. <laughs> so I, I struggled with um, some of the bass lines because I, I wanted to learn these songs for my own fun of playing them, uh, and the bass lines for the most part that I've learned are like so ridiculously simple hmm. with all this other complicated shit going on. I didn't know whether to uh, be a little disgruntled, which I think I, I was initially with the bass player. Mm-hmm. Or um, appreciate that he just doesn't give a fuck and he's playing what works with the song. And right. I think for the most part, 90, I don't know, 98% of the time, he's doing exactly what he should be doing. I think there are times when he can show off a little. I don't know if he has the, the licks for it. I would assume he does if he's playing with these other guys. But I would think so, yeah. Yeah, I think um, so. The fact that he's got restraint enough to hold back to play some really like, you know, thick, kind of basic Almost like, um, it's a weird comparison, but like ACDC bass lines. Where he's just like, <laughs> he's just, I don't think that guy had the licks, but, um, you know, like, you know what I mean? Like, he's just, he's just yeah. locked into a groove. And, and mean, there are parts in the album where he does some really cool shit, melodic stuff, you know, that, that mm-hmm. really helps out the song. So I'm kind of like, I think overall he's, he's kind of a badass that he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Even as much as as I would love for like some Cliff Burton Cliff Burton type of solo to burst through at some point, you know, like yeah. he doesn't do it, but the fucking shit sounds good. So I don't know, kind of a yeah. almost like Rex Brown. Mm-hmm. Oh, but yeah. even he did some fills he, yeah, that were really cool. Yeah, yeah. you know, he, he played some really times. complicated stuff. Yeah, so I, I couldn't really find a, a good. I couldn't think of somebody other than like ACDC or maybe Judas Priest based well, lines, they, you know. This band definitely has a, a groove, you know. They oh, so yeah. if you if you're trying to keep a good groove with the drummer, even though the drummer's kind of crazy, if you're just trying to keep a good like solid groove behind some of the crazy guitar stuff, it maybe it's better to have just a simple bass line to to go with that groove. You know what I mean? I That's guess I just thinking. I just can't think of a musician who's badass that doesn't want to like put some flair in every so often because obviously the drummer. Has no qualms about that. No, <laughs> the guitar stuff. No, so and we should say his name, Jean Jean Michel Labadie. La I have no idea. Sure, we haven't been introducing the bands, but again, this is like yeah. Well, this I isn't think our these, typical podcast. Well, these two. I think these next two albums are a little bit worthy, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know the drummer and the, and the guitar player, the singer. Yeah, the they're brothers. Player. Yeah. Yes, Brothers, yeah. Which we've mentioned many times is very, it's, it's create, creates this weird dynamic in metal bands that just I, more often than not, it's fucking great, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. I guess we don't know about the ones who didn't make it. But. Right. No. Like Pantera. Um, mm-hmm. 
Uh, Van Halen. They were pretty yeah. popular, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they did bit. okay. <laughs> I can't remember who else, but yeah. Uh, the the Plantiers, Joe and Mario. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Christian uh, Andrew on lead guitar. Oh, okay. They they have I, the lead guitar. They have they have an Andreas Kisser in this. Band. I know, I know. I feel bad. Like, oh yeah, that <laughs> yeah. guy. <laughs> but you know, I think he you know he does some solos. So <laughs> <laughs> he does stuff. Yeah. Oh, right there's a band too. Oh well, yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm trying to think of these other Cheers. bands, and I pull up another. All oh, right, yeah, duh, yeah, <laughs> duh. The Cavaleros. Well, let's keep playing a little bit of this. This song. This is another kind of political. Yeah. Oh yeah, the earth is burning down. Yeah. It yeah. kind of flows with Am- the Amazonia. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's good. So this this album was actually mixed by um, Ted Jensen, and he's got a shitload of accolades for working with. Also, it's especially familiar. Alice in Chains' newer stuff and Green Day, okay. uh, Evanescence, also some pop, pop acts. So they had they had a good team. It looks yeah. like yeah, yeah, it sounds this. great. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah, yeah, it sounds really good. Yeah, like the drums sound amazing, and the like I said, the bass, yeah. the bass and, tone. And you can great. really you hear. I, I just yeah, this is like albums where you hear everything. If you want to focus on something, you can do it. You know. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. And the best the best produced albums have that. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's pretty much perfect. Hopefully we're gonna see them, Tim, again. In, uh... Yeah, in April. Is it April? Okay. You're going in yeah. April? No they're coming to well, they're coming this to the anthem. This was postponed twice. This is this was yeah, this oh, was old ticket? Yeah. They come oh, with really Deftones. Oh. Yeah. Which is why we were like Yeah, yeah. it was like, yeah, that's like why <laughs> I think this goes all the way back to like August of twenty twenty. And we were like, you want to go? And you're like, Deftones, no. <laughs> well, I originally, and it's because if we do go, it's going to be weird because I, I bought tickets afterwards. So I think I have floor seats and Tim Tim and Pam have like balcony seats or something. But they went with their floor, but their, yeah, their seats. They should. The oh. They what? So, what did you say? There's a, a general admission floor and there's also a seated floor, I, I think. And we're in the seated floor. Oh, okay. okay. I believe that's what it is. So, so it's kind of up a little bit. You won't be able to see. Oh, you're up. No, it's it's up. Yeah, okay. it's a it's a raised platform that you sit in. So, the place is huge. I, I I'm not a big fan of buying four seats or or four tickets. Um, it's because half the people are taller than me. Yeah, that's my problem. Yeah, that's, that's my biggest problem. <laughs> well, that's a like, problem for Eric, but for you and me too. No, it's like, yeah. It's not. Yeah, it's if you're. You'd stuck, be surprised. It's, crap, it's a crapshoot. Is is well, it don't. It only takes one taller than you, person, exactly. even like yeah. four or five rows yeah. ahead. Also, there's true. people like this doing this thing with yeah. the phone. Yeah. You know? Oh God! Ugh. Oh well, yeah. There's that. Yeah. <laughs> and actually, when we were at, we saw them in Asheville. There was uh, there were some disgruntled people because Eric was he, he was had the joy of he had the joy thing. of violent movement a little too much. Did I tell you that story, Tim? No. Oh my God! <laughs> These this is probably couple. the people you sold the tickets to, right? Unknown. No, I think it was the other side. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, they this, were cool. this young couple to the the left of me, it was they were probably early twenties, and um, you know the band starts playing. I'm like, you know, yeah, you know, doing your typical kind of moving around a little bit. And at one point, she like taps me on the shoulder really hard, and she does like this, like what is stay in your like, seat? But, like that's what that means. So she, I think she yelled in my ear, "Stay where, stay in your seat, like stay where you are." You're moving into my area, and I'm like, "Oh, you did tell me about this. That's right. Yeah, what? what? That's weird. That's so what weird. Are you talking about? We're at a fucking metal concert. Yeah, We're not at some Backstreet Boys show. Oh my uh, god, uh, come on! I would have been like, uh huh, sure. <laughs> and kept <laughs> what? <laughs> Stay in your seat. No, oh my God, Jesus no. Christ, no, no, lady. Oh, yeah. you, I think that was probably her first concert. 
her her boyfriend probably bought the ticket. And like, I heard I the song on the radio. It's pretty good. Let's go see him. <laughs> God. Anyway, off topic. Yeah. Metal uh, fans today are not what they used to be. <laughs> <laughs> and for the most part, that's probably good. In that instance, not good. Not good. <clears throat> um, if we're going track by track, hold on is the next one. It's an awesome Jeez. song. Great yeah. chorus it comes yep. in with it, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Um, pause it. Hang on. I, want, I want to get this out before I forget. <laughs> this this album and the next one we're going to talk about. Um, like they have like half the album, the songs. I'm like, that's my favorite song, and then I keep playing out. <laughs> like, no, nope, that's my favorite. Like both of them have this so yeah. much, yeah, and that's yeah. how you know an album's fucking badass. Right? Yep. Oh like, yeah. Yeah, this well, this is one yeah. of them. Yeah. Like, it's such ah, it's such an awesome chorus. Yeah, yeah, it is, and it's um, it's kind of an uplifting mm-hmm. idea because there's this theme through the album of our planets falling apart, burning to down, burning to nothing. You got to do something, and then you have these moments like this where it's like, fucking do something. Oh, I listen to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's definitely something that I talked over it. Wow, like, like wow. Yeah. yeah. It's like Eric. It's like <laughs> The Jacksonville Jaguars are playing right now. Wow. <laughs> First down. Which happens a lot more if you listen to Gojira than stuff too. Like the bass right there. We should listen to that. Bass is kind of driving the, the music here. Oh yeah, it's very good. Um, yeah, Newfound is the next one. I mean, all uh, these songs are love, great. Oh, the, like, Newfound, the groove on this one. Yeah, and the oh, the chorus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This, this, Again. this might have been okay. <laughs> You're doing it right now. <laughs> Again, no, this what? is like prong. Like this is like. Yeah. That pitch shifter thing. Yeah. Yeah. I like that he doesn't use harmonics every time. He finds the right moment to use harmonics. It's really cool. Like he does it on board for one thing too. There's a moment where it's like, oh, there's a harmonica. <laughs> this is one of my favorite choruses on the album. Man. And the drums during it too. I'll fast forward a little bit. Oh wait, go back. Go back to the, <laughs> the drum thing. That I love that drum thing. Yeah, it's simple. Yeah. Yeah. Most 99% of drummers were just did on the snare. He's like, yeah. Bah, bah, boom, bah, bah. Yeah. I didn't realize how uh, Max sounding he was there. Yeah. Yeah. It's a hi hat and rider. Yeah. Yeah. Bass right there was so good. Yeah. Sending. I did like that bass there. That was good. Yeah. Maybe this is my favorite album. <laughs> <laughs> See? Uh, yeah. It's so good. I mean. But have you heard the other one? <laughs> yes. I was playing it today, so yeah. <laughs> have I heard it? No. Which one? <laughs> so this is the next two go together. Uh, Fortitude and a Chant. Which is interesting. They didn't play this when we saw them. Well, I thought, sure. uh, for sure, yeah. we're gonna play that. Um, I mean, I guess they can't really do this. Live. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be all right. Yeah. It's more of a bass riff, really, right? To this one, yeah. but it's it's nice harmonics though. The vocals, mm-hmm. and it repeats the theme of "Hold On." Mm-hmm. The same. 
Do they say hold all in this section? Uh, I don't think so. Let's see. I think it's just a oh oh. I don't think they're saying hold on. Okay. And then it goes. I'll fast forward a little bit because it goes right into the next they song. They said it at the end. But that's a very kiwas. Oh yeah. Well, I don't know if they purposely kind of mirrored it to hold on, but I think the vocal line is very similar to that song. Mm -hmm. I think it's—I feel like it's a callback. It does sound like that. It does sound like the thing. Hold on, but very. Very stripped down, simple. Oh, yeah. Yep. I feel like this band does not have, like, I kind of mentioned it before, I don't I don't feel like they have a lot of, uh, just, they're not self-conscious at all. No. They just fucking play. Yeah. And we're like, if three of us were in a band, we might be like, well, that riff is too simple. We got to <laughs> add. <laughs> Could add this and that, you know, and they're yeah. just like boom, 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 and they just do a little turnaround, yeah. right back to that riff. Yeah. Yep. I guess it kind of follows what what was said about the bass player too. Like, they just this is what works right here. We're gonna do it. Fuck it. Fuck you. Yeah. Huge. Metallica I don't. Fans. I don't. I don't think. I don't think they're trying to say fuck you. Just, no. Just no. Honest, it's just what, it's what suits the song the best, and that's what works. So. Yeah, I mean, if if you have a good melody and you've got something to go, I mean, if, if the riff is just one thing, if, as long as you've got a good melody. Because what is that riff? It's probably just D or something probably. over and over, right? And there's a like, <laughs> yeah. like yeah. It's simple as shit. Yeah. yeah. Which is kind Which of is funny because if, if, if I had been writing the song or a riff, I'd be like, no, no. <laughs> yeah. People are going to think you can't play guitar. Like, you know? Yeah, right. I got to add like six or seven notes here. Well, that's well, what their that, old stuff was. Yeah. Uh, well, okay. Yeah, you know, their old stuff was very technical. They did. Uh, death metal. He did the Joe did. Um, what it, I can't remember how he put it, but he was very appreciative of the old stuff in his. Or he was very, uh, you know. Yeah. He, he praised it a lot, and I was like, no, just play the new album. <laughs> play a little bit off of Magma, and you're good. Like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, he no, said something that, like. Um, I don't know. Like, let's, let's play some good old heavy shit or something like that. Or like some, I don't know. Yeah. He said something yeah. about the old albums. I'm like people, we appreciate the fans who like us from back then or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, it's cool there's, enough, but there's, there's a song called vacuity. That's, I mean, it's one of the heaviest songs I've ever heard. I mean, <laughs> for sure that song is ridiculous, but that whole entire album, is, it's a lot of death metal stuff. So it's like, mm. But that song is ridiculous. I wonder <laughs> if um, I wonder if he just didn't know how to sing, or just was insecure. I, about it. Yeah, I think he was maybe self conscious about it because you know yeah. he's like we're trying to. Which is weird because their music is not self conscious at all, or maybe this is no. part of their whole growth. Is I, just, I think it's growth, yeah. Which is awesome yeah. to yeah to see that, and the, and the other album I think we're gonna see that too. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah they're sure. very similar in that way. Like both yeah. these bands keep growing and and it's getting better in my opinion. So. Yeah. yeah, that. Le Font Sauvage was uh, mm. also a very good album, but it was, you know, you can see him growing from mm -hmm. that. Is that the one with the, uh, the whales or whatever it was? No, that was uh, from Mars to Sirius, mm -hmm. I believe. So, but uh, Le Font Sauvage has Explosia on it, which is. Uh, they played but, stuff from that. God, that, that song is fucking remember, ridiculous. I think he it. Well, not the song, but the album. Yeah, yeah. That was probably their it's first just, album that I actually enjoyed. I don't think anything before. I mean,. I said, I, I guess I should make an effort to go back because I, I don't, I didn't hate schizophrenia, but right. I, still yeah. prefer, I was just like, this is not that great. But yeah, I still, I, I still would put it in fairly regularly and, and you know, listen to it. But. You would like Le Font Sauvage. Yeah, there's some good stuff on that one. That's a good album. Yeah. But the stuff before that. Yeah. It's, your little, it's it's a lot of death metal-y stuff and it yeah. gets kind of samey and just kind of mm -hmm. and that's the the funny thing is that's like the 
you know, the, the hardcore real fans, man. Yeah. You know, they're like, that's the real Gojira and this new shit sucks. And it's like, well, happens every time. Yeah. It happens every <laughs> well, Of course. Every time. Yep. If they, uh, if they dare stray from death metal vocals. Oh, they sold out. They suck. Yep, they sold out. Yep. Or, or was and, it, it's any band that if um, you dig like them early on and they, they depart a little bit, like you feel slighted. We've talked it's, about so many We times. have, you, I know. You feel like, you feel like yeah. your butt hurt because they, they did something against that, like they cheated on you or That's something. That's not my Gojira. Yeah. Yeah. We, des- we deserve better is what they always say. <laughs> like, yeah, well, I don't understand that. that. Yeah. You deserve, what is that? All right. But, like, and, and, and we can look at it as musicians too. Um, can you imagine being an ACDC? <laughs> playing the same fucking boring ass shit. I mean, the no, money's good. How much advice. money you're making? How much? <laughs> right. How much? How many? How you were getting laid, or how much drugs you were like? Come the fuck on! Yeah. You think that that Cliff Williams at some point would throw in a fucking bass fill? Like <laughs> my god, man! But no, he's just like <laughs> every night, it's fucking yeah. eighth notes. <laughs> he didn't give a fuck. It's crazy to me. <laughs> I, I, I like ACDC though, but <laughs> yeah, I could never. Well, be they in do the it band. well. Yeah. yeah, not that they asked me, but I could never fucking be that band. Yeah. Now this is what Gojira does is way more exciting. To, yeah, yeah. To change and grow and have it be really good. I mean, you, you can change and grow and have it suck, but they didn't mm-hmm. do that. No. I mean, sometimes you know the band's called Pearl Jam. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't change and grow though. They just <laughs> found just a niche boring. and stuck with it. Yeah, they're like we are a rock band now. Yeah. It was like a, it's like a married couple. Just, yeah, uh, yeah, we're yeah. good now. It's complacent. <laughs> Let's not rock the boat, people. Yeah, it's, it's complacent. <laughs> Hang ten, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that part. <laughs> <laughs> it's the changeling. Hey, it's changeling. It's the changeling by uh, the Doors. <laughs> it is. <laughs> All right, the next song is one of my favorites on the album, Sphinx, because oh, it's got another awesome song. riff. This song is so fucking awesome. This is the mummy dust of this album. Yeah. And maybe that's because of the Egypt theme. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. He's kind of, it's like a slow. Yeah. Yeah. How do you take that long to get across a guitar now? I don't know. <laughs> he's got to be going like this. He's got to be going longitudinally as well, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't know how. Oh, that riff. Oh. I'm going to turn into the charismatic voice here. Where I can make big, big, big. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that song. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's... I love that. That the snares and the bass drum at the same time. Oh, yeah. That's, how it, that's so cool. Keep playing that song. <laughs> I had to learn that riff. Yeah, so good. That's awesome. Uh, Into the storm. I wonder if does one. that song, Eric? Does I don't I don't I don't know the uh, answer. Does that sound heavier than the other songs on that album? A little Mummy bit. Dust is tuned down a little yeah. bit lower than. It's funny you mentioned what? Mummy Dust. I was like, this is that does sound a little like Mummy Dust. Just that main riff is very because because Ghost is already tuned down a step. Mummy Dust is an extra. Jesus, like. It's like the drop D version. Drop of, C. Of that. Yeah. <laughs> so let me let me look at that. Um, oh god, pop. everything's pop ups everywhere you go. <laughs> yeah. It's all about ad revenue. God. Turn off your ad blocker. Yes. No. <laughs> no. Then fuck you. I'm turn. I'm, I'm not looking at this website. If you want me to turn off my ad blocker, sorry. All right. Let me see the, the what this one is. No, it's just, it's this it's regular detuning. 
Drop they have a way of doing that to, to, to just write certain riffs that sound heavier than they actually are. You know what I mean? Well, I think he's. Yeah. I think that riff, the main riff, is probably no higher than like the second fret, right? Yeah, and it's like a it's like a minor. Yeah, kind of like Walk by Pantera, but mm-hmm. a, a, a little uh, what a step lower. Yeah. Okay, into the storm. Oh, the drums! Fucking Jesus Christ! Oh yeah! Oh, oh my yeah! God. It sounds like yeah. a ride. Yeah. What is like it? A, yep. A train. What is? Yeah, it? We, we call this the train song when we play it in the car. The train? What? It sounds like, like a train. Ding 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 ding. Huh. Train, train's coming. But the the ride is doing like a triplet something. It's a weird. It's not matching the other. It's, no. This hand is not matching the rest of the body. No. It's not normal. <laughs> I didn't know, man. That's definitely a train. Oh, yeah. I want that guy to break it down that does these things. And yeah. His name right now. It'd be awesome. Did you watch that parabola one? Not yet. I want to, but it's... Yeah, I know. It's got to be a long video, because I haven't watched it yet. Oh, yeah. I want to watch that, too. I haven't seen it yet. I'm usually such a hater of the bass, double bass following the guitar, but with this band, for some reason, it works. It it's works. Perfect. Yeah. Because it's not generic. And easy. No. Well, because they don't do it often either. I think that's part no. of it. They do it. Yeah, so, they yeah. don't rely on it at all. Right, exactly. No. no. So when they like do it, they'll switch engage like, or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, God. It's been a while since I listened to this album front to back, and I'm just now, I mean, God. It's so Idiot. good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm remembering how fucking good this album is, basically. It's so good. That's what I'm saying. It's like, these albums don't come around, you know, that often. Mm. It's like every five got, years or so. We got so. two in one year. We're yeah. fucking, we should be yeah. happy about Spoiled, this. Spoiled, yeah. yeah. It's like yeah. 1992 all over again. Yeah, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> that was, yeah. I think The Trails is the one song on the album that's not bad. It's just, it's kind of the outlier that's like not as good I as love it because it's uh it gives you a big change of pace from right before it's not like it's not as slow as is the the, the um, which is not the chant well yeah the chant fortitude Celeste, the chant yeah this is the kind of like the slow ballady thing this is just like a groove mm-hmm. and that riff is fucking cool I, I I'm surprised you didn't like that riff better no it's a good song it's just it's and it's you know what's okay so there's a weird thing with this song too. It's gonna, you're, you guys will not know this because you don't know this band, but it reminds me of another song by another band. It sounds. Let me find it real quick. Is there is that delay on the pedal, or is, or is that he's just playing it really fast? I think it's. I don't think it's delay. That makes it cool. The lyrics on this song are fucking, I think, awesome. I don't know if you've read them. I, got I, don't, right here. I don't really know what he's talking about. I, I just think they're fucking awesome. All you see is that, it, oh, what is it? All you think is gold is gold? Like, yeah. All that you see that is gold is truly gold. Hey, like he's just saying, like, it's like a consciousness. Like This is like a... Um, it's like they're tripping. Like when I think of trails. I think of people tripping and seeing trails. Like I, I think that's kind of what what's going on here. Like could be, probably. I'm not. I'm not saying it's one of my favorite songs in the album, but I think it's a, a great like. It separates in. If you put into the storm and grind right next to each other, yeah, sure. No, it's a good. Yeah. It's too much. Yeah. It's perfectly that they put this like groovy ass yeah. like trippy song. In between them, yeah. And I wish, oh, grinds. I don't know. Grind was five and a half minutes. Yeah, it feels so short. <laughs> I'm gonna play this song by a band called Guster because it's what reminds me of. I've heard of them because of you and Tiff. Yeah, and I'm. I think Tim's actually seen them live with us. <laughs> no, I didn't go to that show. Pam did, but I didn't. See, this she doesn't sound anything like Guster, but there's. I think it's a song. Let me see. What's the chorus? I 
think it's the heart, the, the melody of the verses. Am I asleep? Is this a dream? There was something with this song that reminded me of that song. So. Oh my God, no, I get it. The, yeah. The drums are kind of doing what the guitar is doing. The other song, the, 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 the snares kind of. I think maybe using brushes on this. He's a very unique drummer. He oh, doesn't he just like use? He uses brushes, right? Well, he used to use all. Oh, right there, Eric. That was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Oh my. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's the one line. That is that is trails. Yeah. And probably they probably never heard this song. I'm sure they have no. They've not heard this song. That's crazy. But it's got that it's it's got that same where the drums are doing the the kind of you get this like wave that keeps going through the song. Hmm. But it, it was just interesting because it's the same kind of melody. Yeah, where the guitarist riff is like ba ba da da da. That's kind of, it's giving you this pulsating wave feel through yeah. that whole thing, right? And the drums in that other song are doing the same effect. Yeah. So that's that's why it's like a little weird for me to hear this song. I'm like, oh, it's Guster. You should do a mashup of those. <laughs> I could. I probably could. Hmm? I bet it'd be fucking badass. Yeah. We already played Grind. so. Yeah, but you want to talk about it more, right? <laughs> Isn't, that song? Isn't that like your real favorite song? <sighs> it might be. It's yeah. really good. That that it's, and Born for One Thing, I think, are my two favorites on the album. Just the end of Born for One Thing is just so fucking good. That whole uh, yeah, dun, 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 come yeah, on. that's it's so that's good. Old school, yo. Yeah, yeah. We we'll like this because it's un- it's unabashedly old school metal. Oh yeah, uh-huh. but done you know, perfectly. It's, it's like neo metal. I'll play the yeah. Play a little more of this. Because you're right. I can never get enough of this song. That bass there. It's good. I know. It's driving it there. It's not hard either. Oh, this part's cool. It's the bass. There you go. Yeah. But he gets even a little bit fancier later on, too. Where he adds a little bit more to that lick. Perfectly. The song about working out. (laughs) (laughs) That is about... Earning gold in Warcraft. I know. I'm, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if we were grading this, it would be an A+. Plus. I think. Oh, well, yeah. Absolutely. Of um, actually, you know what? That, that makes me think of something. You think um, born for one thing? Do you think? I've always assumed they were talking about like they were born to do what they're doing. It was kind of the, the, the theme. And then grind is kind of them saying, we just fucking keep doing yeah, this. Yeah. So. Even that's a, then, yeah, we the, have you have this wraparound. Mm-hmm. It doesn't really fit Bookends, with the yeah. rest of the theme of yeah. the album, but I I think that's a uh, I think it's kind of their way of saying like we we work hard at this, and they do. If you watch, if you look at their Instagram or whatever, like they 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 take this fucking seriously as fuck. Oh like, yeah, their job. And oh yeah, yeah. They're not like a bunch of drunk druggies. They just play no. the music. They like they they are into the music. Yeah, which I think is awesome. Not it, well, obviously that it comes across to us. That's probably right. Not <laughs> probably didn't need to be said, but no, I know what you're saying. Yeah, a lot of bands are they're they love doing what they're doing, but they're also kind of fuck ups. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I think they strive to be better, which is good. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Yes. They, that's they the grind, right? Growing. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and and, and their mission right. statement is born for one thing. Like, this is what we were supposed to do. Yeah, I think that's cool. Actually, I hadn't thought about yeah. it that way, but that is really cool. I believe you're right. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm saying. <laughs> cool. 
All right, let's move on to Mastodon. Do it. Okay. Hushed and Grim uh, is the name of the album. But wait, wait, can we go back? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just want to say, the, what do you think of the album cover? Gojira. That's very, do. That's very, also very Sepultura. It is. Very, yes, right? It's, yeah. Yes, for sure. Yeah. Sepultura. It seems so like Aztec or Mayan or whatever. I guess it would be Aztec, right? For uh, Brazil. But um, yeah, it's just very. And it's very cool. Yeah, there you go. Here's the. There it is. There, yeah. There's the guy. He's the guy. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I can't yeah, wait to see cool, him again. Uh, I guess it's one of those things where you think of colors when you think of albums. And this is the this is brown. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and you think it, and how many uh, Sepultura albums do you think it was kind of brown or reddish? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Arise, yeah. Well, for sure. Arise, Arise, is, Arise is yeah, brown. That's... Sepultura is like orange. I mean, not Sepultura. <laughs> Beneath the Remains is like orange. Orange. Orangey uh, black, right? Yeah. It's Halloweenish, a little bit. It's, it's kind yeah. of a dark red, right? Yeah. And chaos is like dark gray and blue. Chaos AD is blue and yeah, mm-hmm. blue and gray. Blue and gray. Yeah. But I, yeah. this would fit right in. Yeah. If, yeah. If you definitely. said that was a Sepultura album. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. You'd like, that's that. That's that brown one. Yeah. Well, now we're gonna talk about Mastodon's gray album. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hushed and grim, which once again, I think this is their best album. I mean, I don't think there's a. I, I, I thought their best, their last album was their best album, but now I think this album's their best album. Um, yeah, it's, it's close. No. Emperor of Sand was not that for me. Off? It's not. This is not a close call for me at all. No, really. No, hmm. no. Um, and I'm trying to pull up the. Where the fuck is the Wikipedia page on this? Come on. I mean, look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually that also. Like- Gojira that album one. cover looks like um, maybe somebody didn't know what they were doing with the, uh, <laughs> with the uh, Photoshop. I don't know. I, I think that album cover is fucking cheesy as shit. He looks like the Tuscan Raider in the latest episode of Yeah, Bullet he does. Fight. He does. Yeah. The main well, guy. Well, I haven't watched that yet. So. Well, he looks like this, only he doesn't have a skull face. I thought that guy looked like Al Jurgensen, actually, but. That's yeah, what, totally. What was, oh, my God. There was a, there was a reference to Jawas the other day. Okay, I don't know what it was. So, you, <laughs> Eric, you might know. There's the uh, Dukini, du, du, Dukini Winery or something. Oh, I've heard of that. Yeah, in that, Loudoun County, it's yeah. it's been out here for forever. Like, a, yeah, yeah, kind of towards Hillsboro. Mm-hmm. Du- is it Duquesne? I, I'm not, never know how, I've never known how to to say the word. But um, I was at a winery the other day, and they were talking about that winery, and um, the <laughs> my friend said. Um, well, I always thought of the, <laughs> the those little people in the sand from Star Wars when they said it because it's <laughs> Dukini. <laughs> I was like, what? You know about the Jawas? It's like, yeah, those those little people. Like, Dukini. <laughs> it's like, yeah, oh that's God. what they say in the movie. Like, okay. That's funny. <laughs> So All right. I'm, if I ever go there, I'm gonna be like, Dukini. <laughs> <laughs> they're in the, they're in Book of Boba Fett briefly. Mm-hmm. First episode. Briefly. They're uh, you should not trust them. No, no, little scavengers. No. Yeah, they're scavengers. And when she was trying to bring up the reference, she was trying to like f- figure out like who said it. I was like, I, I was thinking the same people. I'm like, no, they. <laughs> 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 They're horrible like seals, and this and <laughs> and Mandalorian and Book of Boba Fett, they have like a really weird voice, like yeah, and they're humanized more. <laughs> exactly, yeah, like, it's do. weird, like something's like, choking. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> <laughs> it sounds <Yeah>. wonderful. <laughs> you yeah. don't want to watch this show. <laughs> no, Jesus it's Christ. awesome. It's really good. Yeah, it's really All right. good. All right, on to Mastodon. It's getting. I light. can't bring up the album. Where is it? Mastodon discography, right? Yeah, there we go. All right. It's going to be a long episode. It's coming. This one. Yes, I have that too. No, um, I don't. God, you guys have all these records. No, I have <laughs> super cool. Look at the back. So many that. records. Oh, another snake. Another snake. Oh, my gosh. That ride one the looks snake. like a viper. I'm going to the the, I'm gonna need to get the Ride the Snake clip for this episode, I think. Oh, uh, yeah. Ride the Snake. Ride the Snake. Scan me. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> nice try, Navas. I found those <laughs> every time we saw one of those on our trip. It said, scan me. I was like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> scan me. I found out I'm a devil. <laughs> <laughs> I've been using your heat beads. <laughs> And you know what? I found out I found that I was the devil. And the blood and the streets and the blood of the streets and it will <laughs> flow red. It fucks it all up and it's perfect. Yeah, no. <laughs> Scan me. Nice try enough. <laughs> Don't mess with the maestro. Oh. <laughs> Ride the snake. Ride the snake. Ride the snake. I sleep in my oven. <laughs> <laughs> I cry when I see a tree. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about this mess. What, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> this is a podcast listener. What the fuck is wrong with you? Uh, look, guys, look, guys, some guys crack themselves up. I don't like listening to those guys. <laughs> talk about shit that I have no idea what they're talking about. They just crack themselves up. That's this right. is a Hoosh and Grime. Is the name of this album. Hoosh and Grime. At least... <laughs> Two days before, why didn't they just put it out on, on uh, Halloween? Like, come on, right? I don't know. It was, yeah. it was October 29th. They, this mm-hmm. this came out. Yeah, fuck it. No, yeah. who knows? Uh, are we doing track by track? To... Yeah, why not? The uh... with drums. Oh, you know what? Actually, I meant to ask: Does the uh... So good. <laughs> Try to turn it up, but there it goes. Yeah, turn it up. This album, I've had a hard time picking a favorite song. I don't know if I yeah, have one. Yeah, for sure. Well, didn't you have that problem in the last album? Yes. No, no. The last album, well, the best song was Jaguar God. Are you talking about Gojira last album? Oh, Gojira. I thought you meant the last Mastodon album. Yeah, I'm talking about Gojira. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, that's tough. Yeah. I have the same exact problem on this. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, uh, because it's just like, oh, no, that's my favorite. Oh, yeah, no, it's, that's there's, And there's too many songs, that, and they're all good. So. Right now, so, yeah, I would well, lean towards Eyes, Eyes of Serpents right now. It might be my favorite right now. Oh, but, no. Ooh, deep cut. Yeah. Um, I love you, the chorus well, of the song. Let's, let's lay a little groundwork, right? Yes. Yeah. So this <laughs> uh, came out, uh, like I said, 29th, October 29th. Um, the um, theme of the album is obviously somebody's died that they cared about yes right mm-hmm. it's their i think it was what was it their uh tour manager or or, or manage overall manager i think something like that yeah um i have to go I look should. and see but yeah I, i'll look it up um yeah there's this overwhelming like grief throughout the mm-hmm. whole album album cover is gray and black like those are the two colors shades of gray and black mm-hmm. and um and it's very depressing looking because there's a dude in it, like a soul in a tree. Um, <laughs> and hushed and grim. Those are not happy terms, right? No, yeah. So, uh, yeah, there's this overall pain throughout the album. Um, it's not a concept album per se, but like obviously they're dealing with some serious loss. Yeah, it's almost a concept. Not only but a concept, the but it's, there's a theme. There's definitely a well, theme. But- but Crack the Sky also was named after someone that they that they, they, they lost. So this is like a um I guess it's kind of a theme for uh the album is a tribute to Mastodon's manager Nick John when he died in twenty eighteen. Okay. okay. And every song is related. So yeah. Yeah. To, to pain and, and, and mm-hmm. either regret or anger over not being able to do more. I don't know. It's it's a it's a brutal album. Like mm-hmm. po- poetically, it's very brutal, 
and uh well i guess like you see musically too right yeah like there there's yeah. a lot of there's a lot of fucking pain throughout this album mm-hmm. um yeah and it's 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 not like I, I guess i guess there was in, in uh gojira's album too right but it's uh, magma this magma is, was like that yeah magma this magma oh yeah, was, yeah 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 that was a little more personal that was yeah i guess i guess gojira's a uh, Pain was a little more outward focused, and this is like suffering within, go over losing someone. I can't imagine. Like this guy must have meant, like, I, I can't imagine how he, important he was to them to 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 do this album. Like he must have been, yeah, their everything. Yeah. It, it's it's almost like a it, they lost, um, a, you know, like a, a partner, mm-hmm. uh, like a like a love partner. Um, right, right, right. This is almost a tribute, a sad tribute to that, and. Uh, of course, they don't they don't mention specifics, so it's it's easily relatable to any pain that people have gone through over whatever time, especially yeah. the last mm-hmm. the, during the pandemic. I, I think it I, I think that's one of the things that I think is so beautiful about the album is it's um, if you've ever had pain or regret over somebody dying, mm-hmm. like there's a song on here probably perfectly suited for you. In some way, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, Absolutely. a lot of just it's 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 I'm, I'm trying to sell the album as good but it, like, <laughs> this is fucking depressing shit you know well, you know it's heavy metal and it's it, but it, it, yeah and how do heavy metal people deal with ang- uh, sadness they they have anger like it's right. aggression you know yeah and and that it's a that's a pure release of 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 this pain and kind of like um i think uh the uh, gojira album was kind of a throwback to unabashed like political um well one like we're metal we don't give a fuck right and also like politically we're fucking up our planet you stupid fucking idiots what are you doing <laughs> yeah <laughs> this is kind of like uh we fucking are suffering painfully bad mm-hmm. and we're pissed off as fuck about it mm-hmm. and metal's our way of getting it out i think these are two like almost perfect albums to have come out kind of together because one is outwardly pain like what the fuck are you doing and one's inward this one's the the more inward like self-reflective um like how the fuck am i supposed to deal with this yeah. shit so i i didn't mean to get that deep right away no no yeah. it's good <laughs> it's good it's all yeah. really good stuff yeah yeah even the colors kind of mm. contrast you know you kind of get like a br- light brown on the one and this very dark gray. They work very very well together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's chocolate kinda, and peanut butter kinda, in these albums. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a Jero one's kind of earthy. Mm-hmm. Got like yeah. earth tones. Yeah. And this one's just black and gray. <laughs> Touched and grim. Yeah. yeah. So, I, I mean, I didn't want to jump all over this right away. No, I, that's, that's good. But, well, I mean so, that's 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 a good thing to to start with, just because it's it kind of gives a lays a foundation for what this album is, you know. So as yeah. we go through the songs, it'll you may hear some elements of. You know. And ironically, the music is actually probably a bit lighter. Yeah. Throughout this. Yeah, there's some songs where you're like, that doesn't sound like metal at all. Yeah. <laughs> it's like no, poppy but, almost. Yeah. It's almost trippy. Yeah. It's yeah. like yeah. it's a little bit weird. Yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. It's yeah, another band that started it's off. It's fucking weird as shit. Some of these 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 things, but yeah, their early stuff was very death metal y, like mm-hmm. like Gojira. You know, it was kind of well, like. Eh. I remember Tim, you telling me a story that they didn't know what to do about vocals, so they were just mm-hmm. like, "Well, I guess we'll just do death metal vocals." Like they didn't have That's a exactly singer, right. and they were like, "Well, I guess we'll just one of us will just do the death metal vocals." <laughs> yeah, the drummer and the Troy. Well, Troy's Troy's vocals on this fucking album. Oh my god! Yeah, he's gotten better and better as a singer. Definitely. Yeah, well, he's he's got so much soul and these yeah. these lyrics on this album and so much pain. You know, I he's think, not just growling to be growling. He's just like he's you can feel suffering. Yeah, in in his in his words in this. He's definitely my favorite singer in the band, Troy. But I think that the fact they have that contrast between the two. Is no, it's just great. Just, yeah, it's super cool. It's almost a Staley Cantrell mm-hmm. in a way. You know, Kinda, yeah. Yeah, more even though they more... don't really do harmonies, but just the contrast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, actually, it's way more contrasted on this. Oh yeah, this band. 
Yeah. Yes, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Let's play a little uh, bit of. Uh... So the first first line of this album. Oh my dear. Mm-hmm. What have we done here? Yeah. Like right away, you're like, oh fuck, <laughs> we got a problem. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. and it's gonna go on for what eight. 86 minutes, 17 yeah, seconds. Hour, hour, hour and 26 minutes, yeah. It's, yeah, we, uh, we got some shit to deal with. Like, it's a I lot lo- to digest. I lo- and that's the, uh, the is it uh, is it Bran? Is that the drummer's name? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's it, it's him coming in with this this painful, oh my dear, what have we done here? Yeah. 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 It's great. And the song's called Pain with an Anchor. Mm-hmm. Which is a great title. Brutal fucking song I mean, song what a title. great title. <laughs> yeah. I mean, God. Yeah. <laughs> that's a song title, folks. Well, let me play. So that's the opener, and then the crux is the next one. Oh, we're not going to play Pain with Anchor. Well, we did. We played a little bit, yeah. yeah. I didn't focus on it. <laughs> okay, that's fine. We got t- well, 15 songs to get through, so. <laughs> I got to get up early, too. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I wonder who's doing those backing vocals, those screaming. Just, yeah, I don't know. That's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. That is yeah. one busy drummer. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, who's singing while he does it? I've yes. never seen them live. and I, No, wait, I did see them live once. That's right. We saw them with uh, Alice in Chains Alice and Chains. Deftones. Yeah, but yeah, that was so, way early. Yeah, that was you know. Early. 2010 so before their best stuff yeah the uh you you should at least play the the last chorus oh it kind of changes at the end and it's just extreme metal double bass oh yeah that's awesome i guess that was crack the sky the whole sky was good the whole digression part that riff Hey, uh, Pitchfork, whatever that is, a review site, mm-hmm. 5.7 out of 10. So what? don't ever, ever go to Pitchfork what? for anything. That's crazy. That is. Yeah. Really? 5.7? That's a really weird rating, too, by the way. 5.7. Yeah, that's weird. Why? Yeah, just use a 100 scale. Why? Use <laughs> point. That's an F in Fairfax County. You fucking schools. decimal idiots. <laughs> it's a 57%. Sickle and Peace. Oh, so this was... Um, one of the three that were released before the album. Yeah, this and is a great song. This is, I remember you played this, this for me, and I was like, what? This is Mastodon? <laughs> it does not, this is not heavy at all when it starts, right? Right. This is so weird. This is one of my favorite songs, though. That was a, this oh, this first one where you like, this is my favorite. And then, yeah, the groove on this one is. So I think it's, it's. We've worked yeah, we seven were, eight for most of it, but it's like it's like goes to eight eight or four four. Yeah, it's weird. For the it switches back to four four. Yeah, it's like jazzy. It is it's super jazzy. Listen, oh, go back over there. This this first line of the song, the way Troy sings this. Oh yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I 
the way he says madness. That yeah. Yeah. It's fucking, he sounds insane when he says that, right? Oh, yeah. Madness. <laughs> The snare. The ba 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 yeah. ba 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 ba. Get to the chorus. Well, that turnaround at the end of that too, before the chorus. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm trying yeah. to get to. And then it gets super heavy right there. Yeah. Death comes now. Yeah. So nothing other, other shit matters. Fuck off. I love that chorus. Yeah. Death comes and with it brings sickle and peace. Very cool. Yeah. All right. There's a lot of ghost notes on this album with, on the snare. There's a lot of yeah, kind of intricate little ghost note patterns. <laughs> Throughout the album, he does. I want to see him live now because I, I can't imagine that watching him sing these parts. Live, oh my god! It's like, how are you doing that, dude? It's yeah, crazy. it's crazy. It's insane. Crazy, insane, insane, <laughs> crazy. The family Jew. <laughs> the family Jew. The family Jew. On a Who's... telephone. <laughs> More than I can chew is the next song. Mm-hmm. I guess if there was a weaker song, I don't know. It's not weak. No. It's fucking heavy as goddamn shit, right? Yeah. Yep. And this band, they're, I think their typical tuning is what, probably two steps down? Seems like it. Mm-hmm. C, probably, yeah. You know what's great about Brand's vocals on the drums is he's got a, a fairly high register. Yeah. These, when, it, when it comes with these heavy sh- fucking riffs, man. Yeah. Like, it creates this huge, uh, like, dichotomy of sound. Yeah. Is just, yeah. he's probably the best at that. That is anybody out there right now, you know? Like, yeah, it's really good. He might be my favorite metal voice <laughs> currently. Yeah, that's good. We'll hear it more in the next song. Yeah. The Beast is, uh, is a motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> this is like a blues metal song, you know? It's, it's in 6 8 meter, I think, for most of it. And, uh, Corey's vocals are just so, so full and tortured. This is a, yeah, this is definitely an interesting song for them. I love that they put a song like this on this album. Yeah. Because it's like, it's kind of a risk when you think about it. This does not sound like a metal album. No, metal it's kind of like a, no, it's like. It's almost country. Like yeah, it's almost country, country western. western. It's, it's yeah. a blue, it's 6-8 meter, a lot of blue songs are 6-8. Yeah. Like, it's a slow groove, man. Are they from North Carolina? 
Atlanta, I thought. Is it Atlanta? I think Atlanta. It's Atlanta. They're Southern. Yeah. Either way. I love that lyric. Can you play that again? No. I paid you in fool's gold and I don't owe you anymore. <laughs> we could keep going. I just got to We've got so many more songs to get through. Yeah, I know, but like I, uh, I can't keep playing the songs because I <laughs> <laughs> like so much more to get through. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we do. All yeah. right. Well, there's more to the beast than we 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 let on here, but yeah, it's got. I actually, the beast has one of my favorites. It's got some of the best solos I think on the album, hmm. and I should say. Because we're, I don't even know if we're gonna get to the solos, but I think their soloing on this album is far better than anything I've ever heard them do. I've never, I've never really been a big, yeah, I agree with you. Fan on that, of their actually. solo is soloing, you know. Yeah. Um, but on this one, I'm like, God damn, these guys fucking did some shit. They, yeah, they put some thought into the solos. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, th- I found and, that too. And, like, there's, yeah, and I agree with you. I don't like on previous albums. I was never really. I didn't really pay much attention to the solo. I thought they're but... kind of just like wailing, kind of, kind of yeah. Carrie King-ish. Yeah, there. exactly. Yeah. Like, just, here's a solo because we we got to do it. I think the in, in the Beast, I can't remember the timestamp, Eric. I, I don't know how much you want I'll to see if I can find it, yeah. But I think this is one of the best solos on, on, on the whole album. Mm-hmm. Oh, this part I love. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's what I love this song. Yeah. That's like again, my I guess is that Brent playing that? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I think so. I wouldn't have guessed that, but I think it is. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah, I think so. He's listed of, uh... his lead guitar on the album, so yeah. yeah. I know they both do leads, but I guess he's he's more the guy. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. a lot of his, some his, wife, his wife is so fucking hot. <laughs> Jesus, what were you saying to him? Uh, there's some Pink Floyd stuff going on in these songs. Oh yeah, Pink sure. Floyd vibes in these. Like throughout yeah. the album, I get these Pink Floyd vibes. Mm-hmm. That like that solo was even kind of Pink Floydish, mm-hmm. just faster, but it still had that feel. Yeah, yeah, it's a good album. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's pretty good. I'm starting to think it's my favorite again. <laughs> <laughs> you go back and forth. <laughs> Could this have just been like a double album or a quadruple album or whatever you call it? Yeah, really. Probably. Skeletons of Splendor. You think it's Skeletor when you do that, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, man. My guitar ability is beyond your understanding. <laughs> <laughs> so they went from that slow... I know it's not bluesy, but you know what I mean? To another slow song. Here. Yeah. Again, his vocals just haunting, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love this. Oh. Ah, Isn't that like most one of the most heartbreaking choruses? Yeah. Or, yeah. Or pre-choruses? Yeah. So 
much regret and pain and, and brand back in it. Yeah, yeah. I forge a hat on the scar, you know. Yeah. I, uh, Does this one have the synthesizer in it? Just the one with the... It's like a... Yeah, well, there's... I know one of the uh, ones they released, uh, what is it? Uh, Pushing the Tides does. No, I think this has... Maybe this does too, I don't know. It's very, very Pink Floyd. There it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or Ghost. Or Ghost, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a lot of this in the sub. I mean, that's Pink Floyd. Yeah, that's totally Pink Floyd. 100%. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> I associate with Ghost, but yeah, you're right. I think goes copy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. The OGs with the sense of yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh Tear Drinker great, is another fucking awesome song. What a great was song. Was that title. the. Uh, no, that was the second second one they released before. Yeah. That. Yeah, yeah. And they played this on um, Jimmy Kimmel. I think so, yeah. But it was so cool because there's a. There is a bass solo. Oh yeah, that's right. Which is kind of cool on national TV for a metal band. Yeah, it's definitely. Cool. It's not Cliff Burton because the notes are way too slow. <laughs> I don't know where that bass solo is in the song. Can you go back? Um, uh, go, there's. A, I want to. I want to make a point about the uh, when the vocals come in here. I, I think it's. Really awesome to do. They, they come in. There's such a cool groove when the verse starts with this high up vocal. Yeah. It just changes the tone totally, and you're like locked into the song there. Yeah. You know? And they get to the fry voice. Such a great chorus. Yeah. yeah. I have felt the sh- or I feel the shame that I've let you down again. Yeah. Is that like the not the worst feeling anybody can feel? <laughs> it's but about alright. <laughs> like, it, you feel ashamed that you let somebody you love down. Yeah, like, yeah, I don't think you get more pitiful than that, right? Yeah. It's, well, Tear Drinker, that's a good song title. And that song title is great. Yeah. Ooh, play a little of the bass solo here. Where is it? Let me see. It's after the second verse, or second chorus. I'm, I'm not sure the time stamp, but. Oh, there's a little. Bridge. Bridge thing. Yeah. Mm. One of the times they're harmonizing. Oh, yeah. These are the two songwriters on this, too. That's surprising. Yeah. That's very ghostish also. Was Cliff Burton ghost? Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, this part's good. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's all good. It's I just can't good. play the whole album. <laughs> I wish I could, but get them out of here. At this point, Next. like <laughs> you got to push the tides. Come on, yeah. Another another great song title. Yeah, I love this beginning. Bah, bah. So this was the first um, single. Oh yeah, to come out. And uh, when I heard it, I was like, "Fuck, <laughs> this is the best." Mixed, produced 
Gojira, I mean, uh, a Mastodon album I've ever heard. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds great. Did we even mention the mixer and producer? Uh -uh. David Botrill produced. All right. Never heard of him. Never heard of him. Well, he should do more shit. Yeah. I love that part. Yeah, that's riff is so good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's it's great. The double album. That's what's hard about this. Like I, I <laughs> I'm going. Yeah, I, I, I don't fly into the songs, but it's it's a long album. So they're only halfway through. I know. But this next one, Peace and Tranquility, this is another one of my favorites because this song is like one of the best. Also, yeah, just the, the opening riff trippy. is like what? What is going on here? Uh, that's like Roy Vod. I, I feel think, like this is. I feel like this song is fish if they were a metal band. <laughs> It's like a Megadeth riff. I can't yeah. even imagine how to play that. Like, yeah. I know you're going this way. And then they harmonize it. And it gets weird. Yeah. It's a little testimony, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Very thrash. The scale, though. The, the weird scale. And using. then they go this. It's like Caius now. Yeah. Or Van Halen. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> yeah. That's what I thought of immediately was Van Halen. Mm -hmm. Even the guitar tone is, is Van Halen. Yeah. It's something you hear on Women and Children First or something. Yeah. <laughs> The, the drums here are very odd. Oh, the time signature is all fucked up. Yeah, it's all weird. That's one of the things about this band that's like... But, but wait, it gets catchy right there. Yeah, yeah. It's now it's simple for... Yeah. for but it should be. It's peaceful tranquility. Yeah, right. that's right. <laughs> like, it's very purposeful how they did that. Yeah, mm -hmm. Now things are weird again. Yeah. There's a weird part in the middle, too. This little breakdown oh, thing. The, uh, oh, the next part? I feel like this is two songs almost. It is. Here we go. That you were laughing. Oh, that uh, I love that That's part. It. Yeah, yeah. I love the vocals here. I don't know. You were laughing at me and, and looking away. Yeah. It's painful. It's weird again. Yeah. Come back down. Oh, my favorite one. Yeah, man. That's good, huh? Solo right there. Really good <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, that's one of my favorites for sure. But hopefully we will live for the years longer and we will discuss it more <laughs> in more detail. <laughs> right. Remember that Master Dunham from 2021? <laughs> <laughs> You'll be 80, Tim. I know. I, I'm, this is just an album I what? can dissect and eat like... <laughs> Well, you're in West Virginia. You have no teeth. That's right. And I'll have a, I'll have a full, uh, uh, full redneck Krish. accent. Like, uh, Krish. 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 <laughs> what, your hand now? I'm sure, why not? <laughs> Computer says no. Computer says no. Wait, I have that. I thought I had that. That's in there. I am a lady. <laughs> <laughs> I have that. 
<laughs> Same dude. What the theme tune? Sing the theme tune. <laughs> that guy's theme tune. Wasn't that guy's name Tim? I don't, Tim, I don't know. The character? I think oh, I think Tim. the character I think may have been. Yeah. yeah. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Poor Tim. The, the theme tune. <laughs> He knows too much. <laughs> Come out your sprites, you naughty sprites. <laughs> ah, f- oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Ah, shit. <laughs> General ladies, shit. <laughs> We're talking about little brain. Yes. This song is sad. I love the way it starts, though. Yeah. Oh, the lyrics, though, yeah. That's, this song's called Dagger. And this song feels like a dagger. Yeah, right to the heart. Yes. It's... Look out! Strike <laughs> uh. <laughs> to the heart! Price oh, the price would pay to know you, yeah. It's Ted Lasso ish. Mm-hmm. Dude, these dudes are in fucking pain when they wrote this song. This album, this album. Yeah. And it fucking comes through. Mm-hmm. And everybody we know has lost somebody, has been in pain, and it just fucking resonates. Like, yeah. Yeah, he some study to. on this album. Yeah, I think he would love this album. I think I think he liked Gojira a lot too. Yeah, yeah I, I think, think so, so too. too. Yeah, I'm gonna force it down his throat. Yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, had it all. The next song. Oh, it con- song continues through. It's like it makes sense right after Dagger. Mm-hmm. The two songs were both written by Troy Sanders alone, so kind of fits God, this yeah, is another right. really great song you had it all you know yeah man the chorus yeah there's no doubt these are the best two albums of the year oh yeah Jesus come on Christ. yeah break oh yeah, close God. And what's one of the lyrics in this album or the, this song is uh, tomorrow's never fine yeah like, that's that's just a dreadful thing to think yeah about. I know Please play that part. I don't know where it oh, is. That's oh, oh, God, that's beautiful, too. The light yeah. will guide you home. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> you're going to make it, but you're not, right? Yeah. Let's see if I can find that. Here it is. Love this part. Oh. Mm. Oh, God. It's heartbreaking, man. Jeez. That's uh. tough. <laughs> Next. <laughs> <laughs> I can stand it if you can. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, good. Savage Lane is just a fucking angry fucking thrash long, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, we needed that. Because <laughs> I'm a lady. <laughs>
Yeah. This is a classic master song right here. Yeah. Good use of the double bass yeah. throughout. Triplets. Mm -hmm. He has that uh, Lars offbeat thing. He too. does, yeah. He's a big yeah. Lars fan. He is, yeah. You can hear it there. I think sure. they all are. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, yeah, because he does that fans. one, it's and then he switches the beat. Yeah, and and that's one of the, one of the underrated things about Lars is shit on his, as he is as a drummer, like his ability to just change the on beat. Yeah, makes the riff sound completely different. Yeah, he's yeah. really good at that. Really yeah. good at yeah. that. And double timing it at the right point too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's yeah. really good at that too. Yeah. Gobblers of Dregs so, was one of my favorites on the album for a while. It, it is still a is. wonderful song. And the, the name of the song is incredible, too. Yeah, Actually, Gobblers of They have Dregs. really good song names. I'm, I'm not a big song name person, but these are fucking cool. Yeah. Like, yeah. Pushing oh, the guys. Gobblers of Dregs? Yeah. yeah. It's great. Like, you think of, like, probably a, a kind of a shitty person, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> so heavy. God. This one, this is the actually the longest song on the album. Yeah. yeah it is. Do you have any, like, solos picked out on this album, Mark? Because... <sighs> not really. I I, I'm not good at time stamping where... Yeah. Because I usually listen to my cars. It's very difficult yeah, yeah. to do. But um, I know I love this. That's Brand, right? Yeah. Yeah, so good. But I, 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 I do want to at least to mention how good the solos are. Yeah. yeah Again, yeah. like we talked about it. Yeah. I, I guess we didn't really have an example. No, I don't. Unfortunately, I can go. I can find something and put it in, in post or something. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Do that. <laughs> if you can't post. <laughs> this next song, like I said, I, it's one of my favorites on the album. I actually, I was telling Tim, I'm I'm doing like an old school masterpiece of 2021 mixtape mm -hmm. thing. <laughs> oh. And I Ooh. put some. You guys watch WandaVision, right? Yeah. I put a little here. Let me play this. Wanda, oh, oh, with the. Uh, what's her name? Yeah. I've always been alone, so I don't feel the lack. I thought this was perfect so I for this alone. album. I've never experienced loss because I've never had a loved one to lose. <laughs> I thought that was perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. Probably sell that. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> what is grief if not love persevering? That's that's a perfect line. Yeah. God damn. It's perfect. Yeah. yeah. And what was Ted Lasso's thing? It was uh, grief's the price that we pay for for loving somebody, or it's worth every minute. Something like that. Yeah. I know. I'm trying to find some Ted Lasso quotes too for for my masterpiece. <laughs> Ah. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, man. Yeah. <laughs> I love the chorus in this song. Yeah. Let me get to the chorus in this song. It's so good. Chills. Mm -hmm. So good. I 
Actually, this is a song that has a really good solo. Joe? Yeah? Yeah, let me find that. I think it's after the second chorus. I should say, I, I thought the, uh, I was telling you what songs were written by. All songs are written by Mastodon. I guess I, I meant the lyrics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, okay. that's what's broken down. Gotcha. Yeah, this is a really good solo here. I see. up the neck. So cool. Yeah. So good. Man. Uh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and then this last song, which is also one of my uh, favorites. This is a motherfucker of a song. Yeah, it really is. All right. This this is if there were like a top four songs. <laughs> right? Uh, the, the, that's probably of this album. the best I can do. Of this album? Or this ever? song. Oh no, from this album. Okay. I was like, say. No, no. <laughs> Damn. But but this song is just like uh, I don't it's definitely in my top. God, top it's three, so. Probably. It's called Gigantum. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Great or, song or title. Again. Gigantium. Uh, gigant- Sorry. Gigantium. Yeah. And the motherfucking riff comes in <laughs> is fucking Gigantium. The song is. I don't. You know what I mean? Like, did you feel that too? Uh, like, the first thing I thought of was Stone Temple Pilots, believe it or not. Oh yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but yeah. The hugeness of I don't I don't know how the riff is played, but. It's just, it, it fits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It sounds like uh, I'll Drink the Water That You Leave yeah. song. Yeah. yeah. I think it, it still remains. Is that the one? Yeah. yeah. That's it. Yeah. Sorry I ruined that for you. <laughs> but uh, Mastodon said, let's make this song fucking heavy. Yeah. And not... A pussy ass love song. <laughs> Do this for real. Actually, I love that still. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah. The, you know what? You know the you know line of the song, right? I want you to be happy. Yeah, happy. It's the fuck. <laughs> so good. Some vocal harmony there too, a little bit. I think it's him with him, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Huh, I love his voice there. Very killing joke too. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. I have such a man crush on that guy. <laughs> And he's a bass player. <laughs> this sounds like it was yeah. written with the intent of it being the last song. Yeah, I think so, too. Here we go. Next line. I just love the way he says, Happy! Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, that's such a good song. Oh man, and you need you need something a little bit up. Yeah, 
at the end of this album because god damn it's a downer yeah yeah, yeah but yeah. it's a it's a downer that that you're like eh, I, I need to deal with it it's this shit the um when the album came out like to, to contrast it with gojira that was something that was like you know right away oh yeah like boom clicked, yeah, yeah. clicked yep. got, got better and better, better this one with um gojira i mean with uh mastodon was uh like whew, yeah that's a lot of shit to digest yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely but, but yeah. i was like i know there's there's good there's something i need in there <laughs> and i just kept like fucking listening and listening yeah, yeah, yeah. and then the songs start because the like the time changes and the time signatures are so fucking weird. Like it just it's it's not an album that's gonna click. So you have to fucking listen. Well, to yeah, it. and sometimes the best albums are the ones that take the longest to really. You got to dig into, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. exactly. And this one has so many different sounding songs too that it's you know, it, it makes it better. I feel like it, it's, if it were like you know old school Mastodon where it's like Thrasher after Thrasher, it might not be as exciting. But this one has like this, the this Beast is such, another. You know, the beast and and uh, peace and tranquility. It's, They're so it's, different. It's you know? another brave fucking album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just Taking risks for sure. That's what I love about yeah. it. We're we're gonna do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love that. Yeah, I absolutely. think I think these are gonna be like two of the um, Gojira and Mastodon. Th- those two, these two are gonna be like classics. Yeah, I, I hope. So oh, yeah. I don't know. It's been hard to top those. It's almost like when Meliora by Ghost came out. And I'm like, I don't know how they're gonna top this album. Yep. It's still my favorite Ghost album. So it's like, man. Yep. I like know. I like the next one better. Really? Mm. I yeah, pretty well. Yeah, I do. Yeah, Meliora's the prequel's the great, one. but I think Meliora is. Ooh. 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 <laughs> You're I gonna kick him in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Got to get Keith in here somehow. Yeah. There he is. <laughs> I wish Keith had been on for the uh, Iron Maiden, at least. Yeah. Yeah. This might have to be a two-parter. We're at three hours yeah. and 30 minutes here, so. Jesus well, good, Christ. Good luck with editing editing that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's okay. I can just do, like, a part one will be the, like, the, the uh, honorable mention. Honorable. And, yeah. yeah. Well, I am glad I, I showed up because there was some stuff I didn't know about, like, uh. The Melvin song. Yes. Yeah. yeah listen to Melvin's album. It's actually really good. Yeah. I was yeah, shocked. I will. But uh, I, I, I uh, actually added a bunch of songs as we were going through. And this. I found out there's or a Melvin's of, albums rather a, acoustic album. I had no idea. So yeah. Who knew? I don't know. This is why good. we're here. We're here to learn. That's right. Share. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Um, well, Flotsam if and Jetsam. you're listening to this and having figured it out by now, you need to listen to uh, Gojira. Yeah, and listen Mastodon. to Gojira, listen to Mastodon, for sure. Mm-hmm. You can skip Iron Maiden. It's cool. <laughs> you, you've heard all those riffs before, so. It's true. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but, if, I was, um, if I was to recommend two albums this year, definitely this two, for sure. Oh, yeah. So. They're so close, and I, I love them so much. And they're also so, well, if you're not a metal fan, they're, they, they're probably going to sound the same. But for people who are, like, into the genre, they're, there's just... They com- they're like compliments. It's a different almost. feeling you get from listening to them. You know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like the yeah. Gojira one is almost like just kick ass, uplifting, and be a good workout album. And this one is like, you might want to sit down, yeah. take it in, maybe <laughs> yeah. grab a drink, get some yeah. whiskey or something. <laughs> oh. Because it's a little yeah. heavy, this one. Yeah. It's, it's a lot. You got a free sample. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Pendleton. It's a lot to digest. Yeah. Um, I typically feel like I like the albums where I have to, like, bear down, dig in, mm-hmm. like, really yeah, yeah. Um, filter, which maybe that's why I'm leaning a little bit more towards the Mastodon. Mastodon is my um, my favorite. Right. But um, I don't know. Going back and I don't know. They're on par. The thing about music is... It's so dependent on how you feel at the time. Yeah, you know? definitely. Like, oh yeah, like really to say like one album is better than the other, it could change. In oh, a heartbeat. Like, absolutely. Because it's it's dependent on mood and and, and yep, you know, yeah. what you're into at that moment. Yeah. So, the, fuck it. yeah, <laughs> but those are the best two. 
Those are the best two. Easily. 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 Well, we got to start talking about 92, though, pretty soon here. We got to figure out what we're going to Actually, we got to finish 91 first. Got finish 91. Damn. We got some then. Like, chili peppers and, and uh, Guns and Roses. Guns and Roses and um, Forced Entry. Still got to talk about that album. Yeah, Forced Entry. Jesus Christ. Holy fuck, we forgot them. Okay. I know. If we talked about we talked about Lucy Brown. We're definitely talking about Forced Entry. <laughs> Coming the fuck on. <laughs> Yeah, that that uh, fourth century album. So we got we got work to do. We do, okay. yeah. Mm-hmm. So stay tuned, people. Otherwise, uh, we'll go ahead and end this one. Um, but uh, we just want you to be happy. happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, for Tim and Joe, this is Eric saying. Thank you. Good fucking night. Oh. Energy, 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 aggression. Power. To sum it up, it's a vulgar display of power. Heavy metal speaks to the anger and despair of teenagers today the same way that the blues used to speak to the despair and anger of the South. Cutting up. Cutting it up big time. They are miserable slaves of Satan. Some country called him this.